going to talk a little bit about some of the themes in my work. And a lot of people are interested in my work culturally, as being brought up as a Muslim and living in a Western society, and through the media, and how the media represents women in the Western world. And so a lot of my work, the process of the work and how I start, is I do a lot of reading and research and then I come up with ideas of how I can kind of um, expel my ideas in an accessible way so that I can speak to an audience on a wider level. And to me, that connection with the audience is the most important thing because without that, I don't see how they can appreciate the art or take something away from it. And that's why I choose to show my work in humorous ways, um, in a bold way to kind of grab the viewer's attention. In a recent um, body of work I did was looking at Disney princesses and the Disney princess brand and how women are showed in a very passive role in, in these films and how Disney still markets them to children at this, um, at this time and how even though the films are so are quite old now, um, it's kind of relevant that they're old because um, I, th I think that it's irrelevant that Snow White was kind of made in the 50s and 60s. Um, I mean, I think it's irrelevant that she's been marketed... Um, I think that basically people say with Disney that um, they're trying to make it more accessible to young women today and sort of get away from that passive image of Snow White and Belle or, Belle or Sleeping Beauty. But I don't think that really matters because they're still marketing the Disney princesses from the 50s as if they were relevant now. So, so many young girls are seeing these passive images of young of, of women and thinking and um, seeing clear gender roles that men are active and take on the world and that girls are passive. And I think that does feed into how women, how, how young girls see gender roles as they go throughout their lives and I suppose how we may treat women as we grow up and go into the wider world and I think this definitely does manifest itself in other ways through advertising and the media. Um, for example in advertising, um, Gap ran an advertising campaign with young children and in these adverts they had um, adverts for boys and adverts for girls and in this particular campaign the girls were all shown as um, the girls were shown as um, passive where um, standing still sort of looking at flowers looking very sort of demure and whereas the boys were all sort of getting muddy and riding bikes and, and taking on the world whereas um, girls um, were, show, um, were shown as uh, passive and I think that idea is so um, subconscious um, that we don't, we're taking in these messages subliminally and we're not really thinking about them so I think in my work it's a matter of, of pointing out, just pointing out these things I think really helps because for example, something like page three, when I was growing up, I just thought that was a, a standard. Um, I just I didn't really think about it and until um, um, right, um, I one day realised what a stupid thing that it was. And, and then only now I can kind of see the absurdity of it. And I think that people are so used to it and so used to seeing images of women in this in this way that that we don't we don't notice it. we don't notice them we don't notice them anymore. So I think it's important to point out it's important to point out these things so that we can look to how we can see the absurdity of them and how we can change them. Thank you very much for your time.